Ευχάριστα νέα για τη χώρα μας κομίζει και ο Αντώνιο Αβενόσο, ο οποίος θα μας θυμίσει ότι η Ελλάδα κατάφερε να μειώσει κατά 51% τους θανάτους από τροχέα τη δεκαετία 2010-2020, και θα μας εξηγήσει σε ποιους παράγοντες θα πρέπει να επικεντρωθούμε και να βελτιώσουμε τους δείκτες των τροχαίων την επόμενη δεκαετία. Ο εκτελεστικός διευθυντής του Ευρωπαϊκού Συμβουλίου Ασφαλείας Μεταφορών, European Transport Safety Council, ETSC, ο κύριος Αβένσο, έχει το λόγο. Thank you, Chair, and uh, um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, also on uh, uh, my behalf. I have to admit it's uh, um, rather difficult to say something interesting after two uh, heavy weights and uh, um, some great presentations, but I'll try, so um, bear with me for uh, um, the next uh, um, 10 minutes. They, uh, uh, just an acknowledgement, the um, graphs uh, and most of the data that I will uh, um, present uh, during my uh, presentation will be um, based on uh, uh, the ATSC uh, Performance Indicator Program, that is a program that is uh, um, ranking uh, member states on uh, um, the basis of their um, road safety uh, performance. Um, you've seen this, you've heard about that, so um, I will not uh, um, expand too much about this, but um, I still uh, want to say something about this graph. It's a little anecdote. Um, I started working on uh, um, road safety in uh, um, 2001, and uh, uh, in 2003, I uh, was asked, as a research officer of ETSC, I was asked to come uh, and present at a conference in uh, uh, Patra. Um, so I did my homework, I uh, prepared my presentation, I prepared my graphs. At that time, uh, the European Union was a union of 15. And uh, not much of a surprise, but uh, in a similar graph to that, Greece was last. And you know, it's always difficult to go, you come from Brussels, uh, you are with your little finger saying, are you last? It's, it's really complicated. But um, we had a very nice discussion at this conference in, in, in Padua, and I remember um, somebody standing up from the floor, I think he was a professor at the university, saying, uh, a bit, shaking a bit the audience and saying, guys, I mean, it's not written in stone that we have to be last on road safety. I mean, we can do it. Uh, it's not rocket science. It's again addressing the vehicles, the infrastructure, behavior, be different. And so I wanted, I knew that this graph would be presented before me, but I still wanted to keep it because it's for me a little revenge on fate and being able to show that Greece is first in this list now and it's out of uh, a Europe of 27, not of a Europe of 15 any longer. So, I mean, well done. And uh, we were delighted as an um, ETSC uh, to be able to give uh, uh, the PIN award to uh, uh, Greece in 2021. And again, I mean, I, I, uh, when, I, when I gave this award, I, I remember that conference, even though I didn't say it during the, uh, the, the award ceremony. And uh, um, I really want to say that this is everybody's prize. You see, it's the Ministry for the Great Work, uh, it's the civil society, Vasiliki, it's the research community. We have two great universities that are part of the work in road safety. I'm thinking about the National Technical University of Athens, uh, I'm thinking about Thessaloniki. It's uh, uh, the people of Greece, the ones who built it up, the ones who respected the speed limits, and uh, I mean, Yes, that's for you. So um, it can be done. And uh, uh, these are some of the reasons that have been mentioned. Of course, achieving the target, but also uh, the implementation of city mobility and safety plans, uh, focusing on infrastructure, how important it is to reduce that 70% figures that is uh, uh, um, concerning the deaths of uh, uh, valuable road users in uh, um, urban areas, the extension of the motorway network, but also the commitment that we now want to see transformed into action of adopting uh, um, 30K in, uh, um, urban, uh, um, in urban areas. Uh, and of course, uh, whereas the graph showing uh, progress is great, you first, but there is still a lot of work to do when it comes to road mortality, the number of deaths per million population, where um, Greece is uh, um, still above uh, uh, the EU average. So congratulations, but no complacency. We'll still be there to monitor, to check, to 
nudge you, to push you to do um, more um, and more. Now, moving back to a wider um, uh, outlook on uh, um, road safety, um, what can we do at European level? What is the uh, future? What, what we expect as the European Transport Safety Council for uh, um, road safety in uh, the years to come? And uh, the rest of the presentation will contain some recommendations that are not only addressed to um, the European Commission, the European Parliament, but also to member states, in some cases to um, the local authorities. So, first, speed is of the essence. For the first time, I want to say speed is good. Of course, not speed of vehicles, but speed of action. Um, a decade goes very quickly. If we need to reduce by half the number of deaths and serious injuries on European roads, action needs to be taken already now. Otherwise, then it's too late and we will not see the results already in uh, 2030. Great not to lose sight of uh, um, the targets, the death target and the serious injury target. And... Uh, um, KPIs, yes, fantastic. I mean, uh, uh, this is uh, one of the things we've been advocating for a while, so I'm glad that uh, um, the European Commission and the member states are now working on KPIs, which uh, we hope will receive data and cooperation from member states as much as possible. And maybe, who knows, we could uh, also be able to enlarge the number of KPIs to have more. And the Road Safety Agency has been mentioned, and we do need one, especially on technical issues. Think about what is happening with uh, the move more and more uh, sustained towards uh, uh, automated and autonomous driving. We need accident investigation. We need to know the, the reasons for the collisions in order to be able to treat them well. So um, an agency, a fully-fledged agency, would be um, extremely um, important. Um, vehicle safety. Um, great about the general safety regulation, um, even though for some of the technologies which were um, included in uh, uh, the uh, legislation, we would have expected maybe um, to have some stronger versions of them, to put it mildly. Um, but the time is not over for legislation. There is still, I mean, uh, need to continue legislate on vehicle aspects and uh, um, to make sure that the cars become as safe as uh, um, possible. And uh, the general safety regulation, which is a great piece of legislation, keep, needs to be um, monitored in uh, its uh, uh, implementation and uh, to be updated as soon as possible. Let's think, for example, about uh, intelligence speed assistance. At the moment, uh, uh, it is still overridable it can be turned off for the whole journey. Uh, the kind of feedback that the driver receives is not ideal and sometimes can make it annoying leading the driver to switch it off. So it's important that we see how this gets deployed so that we can think about revising it towards a stricter version. Event data recorders. Because of a problem in the implementation and in the text actually of the legislation itself, uh, at the moment, uh, we cannot have uh, data on the time, the place, and uh, uh, um, the, 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 um, the day of the collision, which basically makes the instrument not really useful because event data recorders are uh, especially um, useful when, it, when you can record this data and then you can learn from the collision and uh, um, you can improve. Uh, um, I would say most of the decisions uh, on uh, some aspects of vehicle safety happen in uh, um, Geneva uh, at the UNEC level, for which we would love to have uh, a greater involvement of the um, European institutions. Um, there is transparency, but we feel we would need a more democratic oversight of uh, 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 what happens. So, and here also uh, a recommendation for uh, member states, for local authorities, as well as to um, the European institutions about uh, um, a faster response to new uh, personal uh, uh, challenges, like, for example, e-scooters and uh, um, personal mobility um, devices. Uh, um, for infrastructure, the uh, um, uh, 2019 revision of the Infrastructure Safety Management Directive is 
again, a great um, piece of work, great piece of legislation. We hope that the member states will designate a maximum number of primary roads as being part of the legislation, but also we hope that this will be extended to uh, the main urban and rural roads, also, if possible, in a voluntary uh, way. And for local authorities, we've been a f seeing a flourishing of... Uh, infrastructure to allow uh, um, pedestrians, cyclists to uh, navigate the new cities, less use of, of uh, sometimes public transport, less use of uh, uh, own vehicle, and more use of uh, uh, walking and uh, um, cycling, and better infrastructure. So we hope that this will be maintained and uh, um, enhanced. For behavior, we will never stop calling for a speed limit recommendation for all roads. And uh, we believe with speed being the main contributory factor to road deaths, this would be fundamental and extremely important. So we are indeed uh, um, disappointed by uh, the response the commissioner gave in uh, um, the parliament saying that uh, this is not yet on uh, um, the agenda. We should not neglect the importance of drink driving. Everybody knows that you don't drink and drive. Everybody says, if asked, uh, that uh, uh, you shouldn't be taking the road after you've been drinking, but people still do it. Or they don't realize that you are at risk well before you become visibly drunk. And this is also something we need to push for. And the, the best solution is probably to say, well, zero tolerance, no driving after any amount of uh, drinking. And of course, uh, the emerging issues with distraction, the mobile phones. I mean, it's impossible now not to see somebody being distracted the phone while uh, uh, driving, which is an enormous risk, much worse, they say, about uh, uh, the research says about than, than uh, drink driving uh, itself. Uh, and uh, welcome also uh, the words that Matthew said about the uh, new rules on uh, um, driving license, cross-border enforcement update. Uh, this will be um, extremely important. Uh, and post-crash, I would like to mention as well, uh, it is important not to neglect this pillar of road safety. E-call should be extended to all other categories of vehicles. Uh, uh, the emergency corridors, I invite you to Google this uh, and look at the video that we've produced on emergency corridors. It's a way just to allow uh, emergency services to get easier and quicker to the scene of a collision by making sure that uh, uh, um, cars on the right move to the extreme right, cars on the left move to the extreme left, allowing the emergency vehicles to pass and to save precious time uh, uh, when uh, um, going to the scene of a collision. Um, I wanted to say also um, some words about the um, excellent uh, report from uh, um, Mrs. Contura. Um, she um, put us in a very difficult situation, I have to say, because we are the watchdog of the European institutions, so we are used to complaining, to say that we don't like it. And uh, we do, but this time we read that. And uh, so I was saying to the colleague, okay, what can we complain about? Um, this we like, this we like, this we like. So, I mean, next time try and not do it as well as you did, if possible, so that we can, we can do some, some work as well. And uh, uh, this has been mentioned as well, but we are extremely proud. Um, that's a work that is uh, uh, being um, uh, supported by uh, the European Parliament and run by the European Commission with the help of the um, European Transport Safety Council. Uh, it's not rocket science again. We're just uh, making sure that member states talk to one another and uh, uh, visit the other countries, learn from one another, not on everything. That would be Sisyphus' work. It would be impossible just on a few topics for the time being so that there can be this uh, uh, fruitful exchange of uh, um, best practice. And uh, um, Greece is uh, um, amongst the uh, um, 12 uh, uh, participating countries. And uh, uh, I also have two pictures here of uh, uh, the study visits, the exchanges which were uh, um, made in France on uh, uh, the topic of speeding. Uh, that was, uh, well, pre-COVID, January 2020, and uh, um, most recently in uh, uh, Spain, on uh, uh, the topic of uh, um, power two-wheelers in uh, uh, November uh, 2021. Um, there will be 
a final event. Uh, the pilot project comes to an end. We hope to be able to uh, participate in a next call for uh, a continuation, uh, but uh, uh, the project comes to an end in May. There will be a final event for which uh, uh, you will all receive uh, um, an invitation. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much.